we know each other, Bill and I, because we had worked on a documentary film, which Bill produced, about uh, Isamu Noguchi, and uh, that was a project that lasted about two and a half years. And uh, after those two and a half years, and the film got produced and shown on, on public TV, the, uh, Bill came and said, I have a project, I'd, I've been thinking about this as an opera, this idea of Thomas Edison, and would you be interested in participating, collaborating on it? And I said, yes, you know, I just started uh, writing based on what he had at the time. And of course, that was, this is almost 20 years ago. I was inspired to write this because my day job has been filmmaker, industrial, and documentary. And when I go out to make a film, that kind of a film, you take lights, you take a motion picture camera, and you take a sound recorder, and they're all thanks to Thomas Edison. <laughs> On reflection, I thought Thomas Edison may be mankind's greatest benefactor, more than any prophet, more than any philosopher. Um, and I think I might have also suspected that he was not a model human being, and that his worst defects were probably his greatest strengths. That is, he was pig-headed, he was ignorant, he quit school in the fifth grade. He was completely indifferent to the feelings and needs and wishes of other people and had a huge blind confidence in himself. And he was in that way exactly like people that we revere now as the engines of the American economy, like Steve Jobs and Elon Musk. So I asked myself, what, what art form would be big enough to fit somebody like this? And it seemed like opera was the obvious answer. I hadn't had a huge amount of experience approaching vocal music before this project. Writing uh, something with the scope of an opera is a, a huge undertaking, so I did learn a lot and made a lot of mistakes and tried to understand what it is that constitutes successful, skilled writing for the voice, which is not an easy skill to acquire. I like the idea of a small, you might say almost cabaret theater intimacy that you have with, for example, Three Penny Opera. And it's tone, most of it is a tonal kind of style, you know. Tonality and its extensions, polytonality, bitonality, dissonance, but combined in it with this tonal basis for music. That still, that system, although it's, they tried to replace it, still offers the most possibility for saying something and for covering a host of emotions in music.